Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to stage 75 of building Iron Man. This is three quarters of the way through. It doesn't feel like I mean, it should because we've done major bits. We've got the, both arms, both legs almost. The chest is obviously coming together now, so it should be getting there. But yeah, it still feels like there's a long way to go. But there we go. Uh, let's have a look in the in the magazine. In the history of Iron Man, we've got Iron Man and Thor. Yeah, conflict between the two of them. All works out okay in the end, sort of though, mostly. There we go. Uh, and the build itself, we're doing the chest part four. Uh, shoulder blades and shoulders, movable aerolons. Help with this flight stabilization. So that's what we're going to be building today, one of those, and then installing it onto the chest piece. It's going to look a bit like that. Uh, Edwin Jarvis, loyal butler. Yeah, I didn't know his name was Edwin, but there we go. Jarvis is obviously. If that's not how I picture him from, yeah, that, that, it, yeah, it's not the same, but there we go. Uh, yep. I don't know about that either. He obviously had some sort of something. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that was. So, there's obviously some sort of fake Jarvis around there somewhere, but, uh, the Ultron Buster, Impossible Duel, uh, the original Tony Stark with genetic simulation with digital met. There's lots of duplicates going on in this one. So yeah, there we go. Another armor piece, armor use. Uh, Iron Man Thor number one from January 2011. Uh, next time, building the chest. I think it's the other side. It's the same as this one, but reversed. So that should be a quick build for us. Uh, right, I'll get the parts. I'll clear the bench and we shall start the build. Right, as I said, not a difficult part. Three parts supplied in this issue. Uh, we have these two, which will go together thusly. Like that, that's obviously going to fit to the shoulder and then that's going to move. Uh, that is held in place with one of these long RP screws. Usual, but there we go. Nice long screw for that. Uh, that goes in. Uh, have I got this the right way? Yes, that's that way round. That goes in from the top here. Make sure that lines up through. The middle bit i'm going to use a real screwdriver because it's quite long and unwieldy i need to be able to feel exactly what's going on there so yeah this is actually screwing into the middle part so then i need to be aware that the other end of it has to come out at some point make sure that lines up right so i feel for if that gets tight that means it's not lining up it feels like it should be okay uh, the head is actually going into the little socket there. It is actually moving. Yeah, it's stiff but moving. That's all right. That's what we like. Because it wants to stay where it, where we want to put it. So that's okay there. That tighten all the way down so the screw is actually hidden away underneath there. Fine. Uh, again, still moving. Uh, this is just a, a decorative piece which goes on there. Uh, the longer silver bit goes towards the bin we'll get the post lined up with a hole it lined up and turned around and that pops in place like that press lightly to fit into place I have indeed uh so next up i need to bring back the chest assembly from last time uh going to be using one of the em screws this on the back now this goes on that side oh, nice i like that that just fits over the shoulder face so all oh, right so we've got a pin a, a slot that goes through there and the screw goes through the top of that to hold that in place that works it, it's a different way of doing it but it works uh yeah that goes in too far so let's pull that back out a little bit until we can get everything lined up properly Doing it doesn't actually go all the way in, and that holds in there. There's a bit of movement to that, but that'll probably disappear either when I've got this screw tightened down or when we've got the other bits installed around it. Get that tightened down onto there. Yeah, I think I can go a bit tighter than that. as so tight as I can go on that and there's still a bit of movement on that but not too much so that's okay and the shoulder piece obviously 
next to the neck. Don't like that. That's you're just pulling on that. That's putting a lot of strain on that one bit. So I hope something's going to happen with that. If not, I can always lubricate that a little bit or even just opening and closing it a few times will make that a bit freer. But not entirely happy with how that's gone on there. But we'll see. I've been wrong about things before. It could happen again. So that is that. That is the end of this stage. Uh, next time, as I say, I'm pretty sure we're doing the same on the other side. So stick around for that. I shall see you with that very, very shortly. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.